If you are looking for how to pass driving test in Sweden, you must understand roundabout driving rules. You have to know how to drive in roundabout in Sweden because when you appear for the practical driving test in Sweden, you have to go through at least 10 to 12 different roundabouts in 30 minutes of your driving test. So this video will explain all about driving in roundabout in Sweden, how to drive in a roundabout, changing lanes in a roundabout, how and where to indicate in roundabout in Sweden. If you are taking driving lessons in Sweden, you have to be extremely clear about driving rules in roundabout. So without wasting time, let's learn how to drive roundabout safely and easily pass driving test in Sweden. Now I am planning on taking the third exit at the next roundabout. So I need to change the lens to the left first. Just check the front and back sides of the road and indicate left indicator and change lanes safely. That is why I moved to the left lane. The roundabout has two lanes, so I slow down the car before entering so that I can stop if needed. But I don't want to stop the car unless it is absolutely necessary. That is why adjusting the car speed to match the traffic is very important. Then I take up my foot from the accelerator, also known as economical driving or eco driving and put the left indicator on this is not a very simple roundabout the speed limit was 60 kilometers per hour and visibility was poor, so you could not see the other side of the roundabout at the roundabout you need to look on the left side of the incoming vehicles please see the arrow and to determine if there are vehicles there and if so how fast they are coming as there is no vehicle approaching i enter the roundabout and moved my car to the inner lane since i want to take the third exit on the third exit or fourth exit, it is best to stay in the inside lane. Remember to indicate when changing the lanes at the exact location. After the second exit, I will switch up the left indicator and switch on the right indicator and proceed to the outer lane. This is the place where you need to switch from the inner lane to the outer lane and exit. Don't forget to check your blind spot on the right side as you are changing lanes towards right. I am planning to take the fourth exit at the next roundabout like before slow down my car before entering to the roundabout i checked for any vehicles approaching from my left side and put my left indicator on as i approach to the third exit i switched on the right indicator and switch up the left indicator and then drop to the outer lane after checking the right side blind spot, I turned the car into the outer lane and exited safely. Remember the fourth exit generally means a U-turn. The visibility was excellent so one could see all four sides of the roundabout easily. So this is a simple roundabout but roundabout is always tricky. I intend to take the second exit in the coming roundabout. It is the same as first roundabout entering from a different direction. Now I am planning to take the second exit, that's why I kept my car in the right lane. In general, the right lane should be used for exit 1 and 2, while the left lane should be used for exit 3 and 4. I slow down my car as usual before entering to the roundabout. I checked to see if other vehicles are coming from my left. I did not put the left indicator on as I entered the roundabout. For the first and second exit, it is not necessary to indicate while entering to the roundabout. However, you need to signal every time you exit. I will use the outer lane in this case and shall set the right indicator after second exit. I will again take the second exit at this roundabout. I will follow the exactly same rules as I have done in the third roundabout. This is a very interesting roundabout as it has traffic lights and a pedestrian crossing after that. So you need to be extra cautious. The light is green. So I am moving slowly after exiting. This is a very complex roundabout because of traffic light and extra pedestrian crossing. For the fifth roundabout, I will again take the second exit. It is a simple and one lane roundabout 
with clear visibility from all the sides so slow down before entering the roundabout so that you can stop if necessary also look for vehicles coming in from the left left side of the roundabout check there is an unprotected pedestrian crossing immediately after the exit so be extra careful there now in the sixth roundabout i will take the first exit i will put the right indicator on from the beginning just before entering to the roundabout this is the simplest roundabout with one lane and excellent visibility just after the exit beware of unprotected pedestrians crossing leave a comment which part of the driving you are having problem with i can try to make a video as soon as possible if you like this video and if it has added value to you or you get help out of this consider subscribing to it because this channel will bring all the important videos what a new drivers or new beginners needs to learn from the beginning to end thank you thank you for watching and i will see you soon in another interesting video hello and lick a tail for your driving test bye bye